Hello world! Today we're doing a throttle position sensor on a 5.3 Chevy Tahoe. Now this should apply to 2007 and 2014. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this upper engine cover. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the intake uh, boot duct, whatever you want to call it. Let's remove those clamps and get those nice and loose so we can move that out of the way. I've sped this process up a little bit, that way you don't have to be watching all the boring stuff. But if you saw that right now, I removed the uh, PCV hose that goes to the intake part. Um, if I'm correct, it goes from the valve cover to that uh, little intake box part. Kind of hard to describe. You are going to want to use a little screwdriver to pry that little grommet off, or pry it off of the grommet. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the connector for the actual sensor part. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the clips. You'll be able to see them closer when I adjust the angle. So these little clips just hold the actual sensor part onto the mechanical gearing of the throttle body. You might want to have <laughs> two screwdrivers on hand as they can be a little bit a little bit difficult, but it's not very complicated. You just get it off like you would any other sort of C-clip kind of thing, although these aren't C-clips, but they are little metal clips. If I remember, there are six in total. There's uh, that one in the back. The farthest one in the back gets a little bit tighter to get the flathead in there, but it's not too bad. You are going to want to make some space, then get that screwdriver, or should I say flathead screwdriver, in there. Now they should come off pretty easily, it's not too bad, just be careful when you're installing because you don't want to necessarily crack or damage the plastic since it is a molded plastic part. So I believe we have our last one. We're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Then we're going to go and pull this guy forward. Might need a little help from our screwdriver if it doesn't come off as easily. So this is the old one. There are pins on the upper part of it, so just be aware you'll see them. So now we're going to want to touch the throttle plate in order to match it with the hole, which you'll see when you're installing it. Now we've got that in there. We're going to start by putting the new clips. You can technically reuse the old clips, but if I'm correct, they usually supply you with new clips. And then you're able to use those instead of having to reuse the other ones. But I have reused old ones, uh, so they will do the job. Like I said, this job isn't too complicated. One thing I will probably suggest is disconnecting the negative battery terminal. And I believe you can do a throttle body relearn procedure uh, with the scan tool. Now, not everybody will have one, so you may need to find a manual way of doing it. If there is one, I don't recall right now. Or find a buddy that has one. So we're all tied up right there. We're going to go ahead and put that connector back as you saw. And then reinstall these intake duct. Get that in there. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. Shouldn't be too hard. Avoid uh, spending extra money when you can do this mostly by yourself. And then, yeah. So if this was pretty helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Maybe not a bad comment, but any comment will do. 
and if you have seen the other videos that I have and they are or have been or you think will be handy go ahead and subscribe Other than that, there's not much to say on this one. So, I'll leave you guys to enjoy the rest of this video. Thanks for watching.